laboratory fitness can most easily be attained by, you guessed it, aerobics. Aerobics literally means with oxygen, and today we're going to do them in water. To get the right resistance, the water should be between your waist and your knees. Start jogging and go as long as you can. Remember, to get the best effect, it's important to keep your heart rate up for at least 20 minutes. Or if you'd like, you can combine it with jumping up and down. Jumping up and down with both legs or with one leg at a time. Or in a high step fashion, similar to jogging in place. Flutter kicks are probably my favorite. Simply hold onto the side of the pool and start kicking. You'll find that you'll want to experiment on your own specific way of kicking. You can do it fast and flutter-like, or slower and more deliberate as you experience the effects of your muscles. I like to bring my knee straight up as high as I can go, then extend it straight out and force it straight down as I bring my other knee up. The effects on the buttocks and hamstrings are remarkable. You'll find it more enjoyable and effective if you change up your kicking technique. In doing these exercises regularly, your lungs begin processing more air with less effort. Your heart grows stronger, pumping more blood with fewer strokes. The blood supply to your muscles improves and you feel great. So the next time you're at the beach or at the pool, try these calorie-burning, endurance-building water aerobics and take advantage of the fact that water isn't only for swimming. I'm Rachel McClish. See you next time.